Leading off here in the bottom of the first for CVCC's Ashton Fedoric. First pitch is in there for a strike by Caleb Phones. Phones on the year 3 and 1 with a 3.86 ERA and 30 innings pitch, 0 1 count, and quick delivery there. Quickly strike two is quickly 0 and 2. Phones working quickly. Set the belt and the 0 2 pitch. Outside for ball one. Fedorka on the season on the season batting 333. And the one-two pitch hit sky straight up into the air toward foul ground on the first base side. And out of play. It'll remain one and two. The one two. Fouled back behind the plate. Remains one and two. Southern Union in the navy blue tops with double yellow stripes around the end of the sleeves and the collars. That pitch is missed high for ball two. CVCC in the bright yellow and the powder blue. Two two pitch from Phones. This one's hit hard up in the air in the no man's land on the right field line, but coming over to make the grab for Southern Union is Jaden Todd. And one down here in the bottom of the first. That'll ring up Harrison Long, batting 330 this season. Phone set, and he fires. This one's hit hard down the right center. But over is Jaden Todd again. He gets underneath it and makes the catch. Quickly two down. Tom Edders up to the plate now. Batting 260. First pitch to him is in the dirt for ball one. Definitely a different pace on the mound for Southern Union as opposed to CVCC. Phone's working quickly. Turner tends to be a little more deliberate. 1 0 count. That one's just low for ball two. The 2 0. Swung and a miss for strike one. Matter swung right over the top of that one. 2 1 count. Two one pitch inside for ball three. Good take there by Metters. Three one count and the pitch. That one's in there for strike two and it's full. Wind now blowing in from left from left center field. More into the hitters then across the diamond. Full count and the pitch. This one smacked towards short. Collected over there and fired over the first by Braden Devine. And the throw's in time, and that'll be the end of the first inning. So no runs, no hits, nobody left. After one, we're scoreless still at CVCC. This is George Alabama Sports Live's coverage of college baseball presented by... Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC in Opelika, like this powerful all-new GMC Sierra 1500 SLT. Now available with up to 13000 off. Purchase the roomy GMC Terrain SLT discounted up to 9750 off. And the GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive discounted up to 8000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. 
It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful, full-size, and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $13,000 off. Or the roomy midsize three-row SUV Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $6,750 off. And the perfect size Chevy Equinox up to $8,500 off. No payments until the end of summer. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC and Opelika, like this powerful all-new GMC Sierra 1500. Welcome back to Howard Lake Field on the campus of CVCC. We head to the second, still scoreless. And Cannon Miller at the plate for Southern Union. Bang, 352 gets underneath this one and it's slicing out of play, fouled on the first base line. 0 and 1 count. Sixteen RBIs to Miller's credit so far this season. 0-1 count and the pitch. This one's high in slicing foul again on the right field line. And out of play, strike two. Turner set at the chest. Nod as the head, winds and fires on the 0-2. Low in the dirt for ball one. Turn with a lot of movement on the ball so far in the early going. 1-2 pitch, foul straight back into the netting for to remain at a 1-2 count. What win there was in the previous inning is all but to see so far. American flag laying limp over behind the right center field wall. 1-2 pitch in the dirt for ball two. Miller set with a squat of stance and the pitch again low. Ball three and the count is full. <laughs> Cannon Miller, the freshman. Turner sets and fires on the 3 2. Swung on a miss out in front of the breaking ball for strike three. Already the third strikeout by Turner this afternoon. And one down in the top of the second. So that'll bring up Braden Devine, who was the first half of the last put out last inning. Devine, also a freshman, takes the first pitch in there for a strike. Divine batting 287 with 14 RBIs. 
0-1 pitch. Fouled all behind the plate, quickly 0-2. The 0-2 pitch. So I'm going to hit hard between the hole between the shortstop and third baseman and is in there for a base hit. Good piece of hitting with two strikes there by Devine, and he's aboard with a single. Devine called that one solid, and that'll bring up Andrew Walton, the first baseman. Batting 241 with two home runs and 18 RBIs. The tall righty steps in against the tall lefty, Will Turner. Open stance and a pickoff move to first and back in safely with a head first dive is Devine. Now the first pitch, high for ball one. And you can't fault Will Turner's concern for Devine over at first base. Devine has 21 stolen bases this season. Second pitch in there low for ball two. Brady Devine is 21 of 22 in stolen base attempts this season. Two-o pitch in there for a strike. Devine's presence at first seems to be making Turner a little bit uncomfortable there on the mound. And a quick pickoff move and Devine was going. Fire down to second and we got him in a pickle. In a jam. And still going, trying to survive it. Devon trying to get back the first try to get on the tag. He does not. And Devine is caught stealing. And the announcer's curse strikes again. He's now 21 for 23, technically, as he ran on the pickoff move. Two one count against Walton, now with the bases empty. 2-1 pitch, this one's hit towards center field. Coming over to field it and making the grab is Ashton Fedoric, and that will retire the side. So no runs, one hit, nobody left as Devine was caught stealing, and that will end it for the top of the second. We had in the home half of the second, still scoreless here on the campus of CVCC. This is George Alabama Sports Live's coverage of college baseball presented by Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC. Welcome back to the ball game here for the bottom of the second. Still scoreless here on the campus of CVCC. Mound. As Trey Fulmer will step to the batter's box, a third baseman. 
First pitch from Phones is swung on and missed for strike one. Both pitchers in pretty good command here so far in the early going. Phones sets and the 0-1. Swung on and missed again for strike two. Two breaking balls low that Fulmer swung right over the top of. That one smacked toward left field high, but coming over to make the play and get under to make the catch is Landon Bader. So Fulmer is retired. And that'll bring up J.D. Chase, the first baseman. Batting 206 on the season. 13 hits and 63 trips to the plate. First pitch is taken for a strike. On one count and the pitch. Foul straight back for strike two. Chase adjusts the gloves, steps in, but finds himself quickly in an 0-2 hole. A wide low stance for Chase. And the pitch, high for ball one. Phone sets and winds in the one two, swung on and missed for strike three. Fired a fastball right by him, and quickly two down. That'll bring up Zach Bale to the plate, the designated hitter. Batting 143 so far this season. He is five for 35. First pitch is low for a ball. Zach Bell from Niceville, Florida. And the 1-0 pitch is swung on a miss for strike one. Standing in at 6'6", six, six, weighing 225. Big man at the plate, 1-1 one, one pitch. That one is smacked down the right field line. Slicing, will it stay fair? It will, but is caught. What a play and what speed over there by Jaden Todd to get underneath that one to make the catch. And that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, nobody left for the home half of the second. We head to the third, still scoreless. This is Georgia Alabama Sports Live's coverage of college baseball presented by Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC. Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC in Opelika, like this powerful all-new GMC Sierra 1500 SLT, now available with up to 13000 off. Purchase the roomy GMC Terrain SLT, discounted up to 9750 off. And the GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive, discounted up to 8000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful full-size and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $13,000 off. Or the roomy mid-size three-row SUV Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $6,750 off. And the perfect size Chevy Equinox up to $8,500 off. No payments until the end of summer. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Truckloads of fresh inventory. Welcome back to the ball game here for the top of the third inning. Jaden Todd will get things started for the Bison. Two hits on the day for Southern Union, but neither runner advanced past first base. Nobody in the game as a whole has reached second. Will Turner show on the mound for the Pirates. Wines and he fires. 
That one's in there for strike one. Jaden Todd batting 232 this season. Has one home run and 11 RBIs. 0-1 pitch, low for ball one. Turner doing a good job so far of really messing with the eye level of the hitter. One-one count, Turner winds and he fires. Swung on a miss for strike two, breaking ball. Doing a good job of changing up the speeds as well. The one-two pitch, just low for ball two. Good take there by Jaden Todd. When he probably should have swung at it either way, but he got the call to go his way. The 2 2. Low again for ball three. And Todd just won't chase that low breaking ball. Full count to Jaden Todd. Tudor nods, winds, fires on the 3 2. Swung on and missed for strike three. The fourth strikeout through two and a third for Will Turner. And now one down at the top of the third. That will bring up the nine-hole hitter, Noah Jones, playing second base today. Batting 261 this season. First pitch to him is in there for a strike one on the inside corner. Oh, one count in the pitch. Just high above the letters for ball. One, one count and the pitch. Foul straight back for strike two. One-two pitch, and the pitch. Swung on and missed for strike three. Turner fans the first two in the top of the third, and now already has five strikeouts. And that will bring up Landon Bader as we go back to the top of the order for the Bison. Bader struck out swinging to begin the game in the top of the first. The wine and the deal pop straight back behind the plate and out of play for strike one. Oh, one count and the pitch. In there, breaking ball inside corner for strike two. The 0-2, in there for a call, strike three, got him looking. Will Turner strikes out the side, and he is in a groove. We head to the home half of the third, still scoreless here on the campus of CVCC. This is Georgia Alabama Sports Life's coverage of college baseball, presented by Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC.
Welcome back to the ball game. Bottom of the third here for the Pirates coming up is Landon Tyler. As the Pirates have been put down anywhere so far this game. Three flyouts to right, a ground up short, a strikeout and a flyout to left. 0 for 6 so far at the plate for the Pirates. First pitch is taken for a strike. Real pitcher's duel here in the early going. Two lefties, two tall, lanky lefties. Playing well in excuse me swing, check down the third base. Collecting a fire over the first in time by Pat McGlone and quickly one down. So that will bring up Drew Jolly for CVCC. Batting 257 on the season. First pitch is taken on the upper part of the plate for a strike. Drew Jolly, the freshman from Prattville, Alabama. 0-1 count. Phones fires. Just missed for a ball. And the Southern Union dugout wanted a strike call on that one. The 1-1. One, one. Low and called for a strike two. Breaking ball right at the knees. And Jolly in a 1-2 hole. That one fouled back into the netting. Keeps it at a 1-2 count. Wind now picking back up a little bit. Blowing across the infield from third base to first base. 1-2 again, leaning on it, no call, two balls, two strikes. Two-two, two. just high for ball three, good eye there by Jolly. Full count to Drew Jolly, phones fires. Low for ball four, and the Pirates are the first base runner of the afternoon on a walk. Not the worst thing to roll with one out to get the double play chance in order. That brings up Michael DeFranciso. DeFranciso from Winder, Georgia. Batting 279, a pickoff move to first. Jolly back in time. The ball rolled away a little bit from Andrew Walton. Jolly with a pretty short lead over at first, about three paces. First pitch to DeFranciso is high for a ball. Swing and a miss there on the second pitch for strike one. Walton with quick movements of the head, checking first, checking the plate, checking first. Looks like an owl a little bit out there. Now a quick pickoff move and Jolly back in safely. Good take there by D. Franciso. And it's two and one. Walton with more quick movement of the head and DeFranciso out in front of that one. Swings and misses for strike two. Jolly at first, Walton checks him three times. Tears him down a little bit, and he's going. 2-2 two -two pitch, in there for a strike three. No throw down the second, but DeFranciso strikes out looking. So the first runner advances to second base for either team today, but now two down for the Pirates. Back at the top of the order to Ashton Fedoric, who flew out to right in the bottom of the first.
Phones winds and fires. First pitch to Fedoric is swung and missed for strike one. Again, an absolutely beautiful afternoon for baseball. Oh, one pitch is swung on and missed in the dirt for strike two. Walton really going to have the luck in Owl now to check back on Jolly back at second base. Wonder how he'll look trying to look at a runner at third. He's hoping he won't have to, last, at least in this half of the inning. 0 2 count with two outs. 0 2 pitch, swung on and missed for strike three. Both pitchers in the groove now. We head to the fourth inning, still scoreless here at CVCC. You're watching Georgia Alabama Sports Live's coverage of college baseball presented by Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC. Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC in Opelika, like this powerful all-new GMC Sierra 1500 SLT. Now available with up to 13000 off. Purchase the roomy GMC Terrain SLT discounted up to $9,750 off. And the GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive discounted up to $8,000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful, full-size, and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $13,000 off. Or the roomy midsize three-row SUV Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $6,000. The GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive. Discounted up to $8,000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful, full-size, and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. I'm here. Top of the fourth inning. And Ace Williamson will lead things off for the Bison. First pitch to him. Swings and misses. Left knee goes in the dirt for strike one. Bull Turner still on the mound, the tall lefty for the Pirates. 0-1 count in the pitch. A little bit of a check swing held back, and the pitch was low for ball one. one 1-1 one pitch in the dirt for ball two. Two one count and the pitch by Turner is chopped toward first base but foul. And now an even count at two and two. Williamson struck out looking back in the first. As he faces a two two count against Turner. Turner shakes his head now and nods it, winds and he fires. In there for a call strike three. The second looking strikeout for Williamson, that's the fourth straight strikeout for Turner as he's got seven on the day. So now Jaden Anderson up to the plate, singled in his first plate appearance back in the first, but was left stranded there. First pitch to him is swung on a rope down the left field line in there for a base hit. Another single to left field for Jaden Anderson. And the Bison have one aboard with one down. That'll bring up the cleanup man, Pat McGlawn, who flew out to right back in the first to end the first inning. First pitch to McGlawn is on the inside part of the plate. Call strike one. Turner eyes Anderson at first. Now fires. Pitch is low, but swung on a miss for strike two. Okay. 
0-2 pitch and the pickoff move to first. Anderson back in with plenty of time to spare. Turner sets and fires on the 0-2. Just missed for ball one. Which pitcher will blink first? That's the question. 1-2 pitch in the dirt. Good stop there behind the plate by Metters. And it's a 2-2 two two count. The 2-2. Two -two. Swung on a chop toward third. Good stop over there. But the throw over the first is just in time. Good stop by J.D. Chase and good recovery. So McGlawn is thrown out at first. Anderson advances to second. And now the Bison have their first runner scoring position for the ball game. And that'll bring up Cannon Miller, who struck out swinging to begin the second. Really a hard hit ball down the third base line. But a good job by J.D. Chase over there. That one's hit high toward right field. On, Slicing over. Is it going to drop? It will not. As Landon Tyler catches up to it, makes a grab, and that will retire the side. So one hit, one left. No run scored for the Bison as we head to the home half of the fourth. It's still 0-0. Zero to zero. You're watching Georgia Alabama Sports Live's coverage of college baseball presented by Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC. Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC in Opelika, like this powerful all-new GMC Sierra 1500 SLT. Now available with up to 13000 off. Purchase the roomy GMC Terrain SLT discounted up to $97.50 off. And the GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive discounted up to $8,000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful, full-size, and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $13,000 off. Or the roomy mid-size three-row SUV Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $6,750 off. And the perfect size Chevy Equinox up to $8,500 off. No payments until the end of summer. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC in Opelika, like this powerful all-new GMC Sierra 1500 SLT. Now available with up to $13,000 off. Purchase the roomy GMC Terrain SLT discounted up to $97.50 off. And the GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive discounted up to $8,000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot. Welcome back to the ball. Bottom of the fourth here for CVCC. Coming up to the plate, leading off will be Harrison Long, who flew out to right field in the first. The Pirates still hitless as we head to the home half of the fourth. One base runner was Drew Jolly, who drew a walk. First pitch is swung on a hit high towards center field. But that will give Ace Williamson plenty of time to get under it, under it and make the catch to put one down in the home half of the fourth. Yeah, that, that one was way up there. Williamson had plenty of time to camp out and make a sandwich to get under that one. Second fly out of the ball game for Harrison Long. Now bring up Ty Metters. Grounded out to short in the first. First pitch to Metters. Just high for ball one. One zero pitch, swung on a hit hard towards center. Williamson coming up to catch it again, and he gets underneath that one. Had to get a little bit more on his high horse to come catch that one, but he does. 
And quickly, there's two down. Both pitchers have been in a groove, and both defenses behind the pitchers have really been complimenting the pitcher as well. Both offenses are trying to get something going, and something tells me two, two runs may win the ball game. Trey Fulmer up to the plate, takes the first one low for a ball. Really good pitcher's duel here so far, early this afternoon. Win now switching directions a little bit as the 1-0 is low in the dirt for ball two. Now it's blowing from behind the third base dugout out toward right center. Fulmer ahead in the count, 2-0. 2-0 pitch, foul straight back for strike one. 